Greetings, this is Lynn Mann presenting to you Screencast-O-Matic. In this second part of our four-part series, we'll be discussing the advanced editing tools available in the Pro version of the software. Screencast-O-Matic gives us a handful of advanced editing tools. We can change the speed of our video, either by choosing to slow it down or speed it up. We can edit the audio by re-recording a portion of just the audio versus the video, or we can export our audio to a file and edit it into another uh, application. We can also zoom and pan into a portion of our screen or over across the screen. We can add an overlay, including adding arrows or adding a picture to our video. And we can replace a video by re-recording a segment of it while not having to replace the audio, but replacing the video on the fly. Now I will like to share with you that you will see a distortion of the quality of the recording. That is not due to Screencast-O-Matic. That is due to how I have to record it so you are able to see the editing area. I'm being a little bit clever here, I have two laptops and I'm using the webcam to on one of them to record the screen while I'm showing you the back area of Screencast-O-Matic. So in essence, I have two instances of Screencast-O-Matic going at the same time. So now that we have that out in the open, let's go ahead and see how these advanced editing tools work. Let's start with changing the speed of our recording. I'm working with a recording that's just a video, there's no audio to it. There, and so I'm going to go ahead and click on Edit Recording. And in our tools, we'll see that we have quite a few to choose from. I'm going to decide, is it that I want the whole video to speed up or slow down, or is it a portion of my video? Right now, my video is 5 minutes and 28 seconds long. If I decide I want the whole video at, at a different type of speed, then I just need to leave it as it is, click on Change Speed, and decide, do I want it, and these are my options, 10 times faster, 5 times faster, 4 times faster, 3 times faster, twice as fast, and then likewise with the slow. So I have 2, 3, 4, 5, and 10 slower. So if I decide I want it twice as fast, I just click on twice as fast, and I click on Start. Now, what was 5 minutes and 48 seconds, it's now 2 minutes and 44 seconds. If I want to undo that speed up, all I have to go is in my History area. I'm going to click on the Delete. And once again, we're back at, pardon me, 5 minutes and 28 seconds. So let's say I want to slow it down. Again, whole video, and I'm going to click on the start, the speed change, and go instead of twice as fast, twice as slow. And this should boost it up to over 10 minutes long. And indeed, it's 10 minutes and 56 seconds long. Now that's great if I want to do it to the whole video, but I can do it to just a portion of the video as well. So I'm going to go ahead and delete that slowdown. And this time, I'm going to change my beginning and end markers. I'm going to say, perhaps, drag it to, oh, I don't know, one minute. That's always a good time to start on, or wherever you need it. So I'm going to say one minute to three minutes. So for two minutes. I want this to be faster. So I'm going to go ahead and say speed change twice as fast, or maybe let's say three times as fast, and I say start. Now that's adjusted the speed just in that portion of the video. And I can do this several times in different locations to decide do I want it fast or slow. And perhaps you may need this because there's some dead time in your video or uh, there needs to be something slowed down like maybe a pitch or a somebody kicked the ball in sports and you want to slow it down. Well, you can do that. 
So I'm going to choose another spot, let's say around the three minute mark. And I'm going to do it for about, I don't know, a minute. I'm going to say insert, or pardon me, speed change. This time I'm going to do it slower. There's no reason why I can't have a slow spot and a uh, quick spot. I can have as many of these as I want. Alrighty. That's all there is to it. So there's not going to be much difference when I actually play this uh, because you haven't seen the actual video. But you probably see the mouse slow down from a normal yes. You can see that Google is drawing this line very slowly. And my moving to each picture a lot slower than where what it was. So let's go to the end here, and you'll see how fast I normally move. And that's all there is about speed up and slowing down your video. Now let's deal with editing our audio. Now this particular video doesn't have any audio, but that doesn't mean that we can't add some audio. So if I go over to in the back area and I click on the edited recording, if you don't already have it open, and I decide to say edit audio, I have a couple choices. I can add or replace audio, or I can export it to a WAV file to edit it with a WAV file if indeed I have um, some software that would do that on my behalf, like um, Audacity, Audacity would do this, which is free out there as well. So this time I'm going to add audio, and as soon as I click on um, record, it's going to start recording my audio. For example, I can say here is Google Maps, and I'm in Southern California, and I'm zooming out of Southern California, and I'm looking at now the United States. Then I can say pause, and it recorded the video. Now this is going to overlap every audio that is in there, and I can say done. If I only wanted a segment, for example, so now I'm going to play it. For example, I can say here is Google Maps, and I'm in Southern. And California. you can now hear that there's audio and I'm in there. Out of Southern California, and I'm. But, for example, if I skip over to the two minute marker, you'll hear there's no video involved, or there's no audio involved. But let's say I decide I want to add some video right here, or audio, pardon me. So what I'm going to do is change my markers, and I'm going to scooch up to where my marker is. And then I'm going to click on Edit Audio and I'm going to add replace the audio is there. It is only going to take this section of the audio. Everything else is going to stay the same. I'm going to add replace my audio. And again, as soon as I start recording, it's going to record over what was there. Not erase it, just replace it. Uh, and if I didn't want it, I could take it out again. So here's another portion of the map. We're in Italy and we're moving around Europe. So you can see that I have 26 seconds selected. And if I want it, that's all I need to say or finish the audio. And I can say done. Now in this portion, instead of quiet space, so here's another portion of the map. We're in Italy. You can hear that it's overriding the audio that was so there. See that now the cool part about this is if I made a mistake on my audio, I could come over in my history and I could delete that history. Again, the only I think downside of Screencast-O-Matic is that I can only do the last thing. It's like in Word or Excel when you do an undo, it's the very last thing that you did gets un undid. <laughs> so I can undo this overlay of audio if I wanted, um, but I'll leave it there for now. And as soon as I'm done, I'm done. Again, we can um, talk about the whole entire video or just trunc truncate just a small portion of it. 
and I can do multiple of these anywhere I would need them. Let's take a look at our next advanced editing tool, which would be Pan and pardon me, Zoom and Pan. For Zoom and Pan, sometimes we want to zoom into an area of our screen and then zoom back out, but it just needs to see a little closer what we're doing. So I'm going to get to a point of this video. Let's say we want to zoom in on Greece. And within this area, okay, I'm going to go ahead and click on Zoom and Pan. And I'll click a little bit of head. I'll say Start. Now, the reason why I did that right here, I'm going to give it about a half a second. And this is where I'm going to start my zoom. So I'm going to zoom in, let's say, to Greece. You'll see the zoom right here. And I'm just clicked behind the zoom. It says start zoom. And I'm going to start it just a little bit before, and then if I go after, I can bring it out to 100%. There you go. And again, I can start my zoom to the next zoom. So I zoomed in and I zoomed out. I'm going to say done. And go a little bit to behind where I started that zoom and I'll play it to make sure this is what I'm doing what it's doing is I want it to do so I should zoom in slowly to Greece and then slowly out well it did it fast because I didn't do a very good spacing of that but that's okay I'm gonna pause the video just clicked on that one item since it was the last thing that I did. I can actually take this last zoom and I'm going to space it out several more minutes. So I'm actually going to start fresh and new. That's okay, because I don't want to mess with it too much. I'm going to delete the one that I already created. I make mistakes too. I'm going to say back, select where I want to go on my video. And again, so let's say it lasts about 20 seconds maybe. Zoom in, zoom out. Click on Zoom and Pan, Start, and again, we're going to have, about right here is going to be the Zoom In, and I'm actually not going to do it that way where I drag the quarters, I'm just going to slide the scale to where it's in the center. I'm going to start the Zoom back here, and I'm going to stay zoomed until maybe the 11 second marker and I'm going to zoom out and about right here is where I'm going to start the second zoom. I'm going to say done. Now again the nice thing about it is I can test it to see if that's exactly how I want my effect or not. So I'm going to click run and see what happens and it should zoom in, hang around the uh, zoom a little bit. And you can speed that up depending on how far ahead of your zoom that you start your zoom and then we zoom out to 100%. That's exactly what I want it to do. Now panning is slightly different. So again, I've selected an area of my video. 
a chunk of my video and I'm going to go to the zoom and pan. This time I'm going to say again set manually because of the way that I set it up it won't start the um, video by using the mouse movements. So I'm going to start let's say zooming in first. And perhaps I just want to follow these pictures down at the bottom. Let's zoom in just a little bit. And I'm going to say, there's my first frame. And now I'm going to go up maybe a second or two. Move to the next area. And I can start my zoom little bit before that. I'm just kind of playing with this to see how I can get my pan to work nicely. And I can just pan across the bottom like this. So every time I click on next frame it's going to set a marker. Or pardon me, uh, to the zoom it's going to click on the next guy over there we go and I can say done Again, I'm going to test this out to see if this is what I want it to do. If not, I can always undo it and redo it again. There we go. That first part worked pretty well. Oh, I didn't put the transition on there. So you want to remember that you want to zoom to that next position. Now let's take a look at adding an overlay. What an overlay will do is it will allow you to add maybe a box around something or add a blur or add a picture or even an arrow to whatever is displayed on your video. So I've already selected the first few seconds of our time here. I'm just going to play around with this area. I'm going to go ahead and click Add Overlay. You can either select this section first or you can start it at a current time. I went ahead and selected my time beforehand like all the other issues, the, all the other editing tools. You always want to select your time area that you want to apply it. And then I'm going to click Start. And I have several different type of overlays. I have an image, dimming, blur, rectangle, arrow, text. So let me show these to you very quickly. If I want to add a picture, I can click on my pictures and I'm just going to select a picture from my documents. Let's see, on my PC, my pictures, and let's check this one. There's my pup. I can uh, redo this one as in terms of moving it around wherever I want it. There's my pup when she was much, much younger. If I don't want it, I can say X or if I'm A, I can either hide it or start it whenever I want it. I'm going to go ahead and delete the picture because I don't need it there. I could select a rectangle. So all I do is take the box, choose the area. I can change the color by edit. E is edit. Maybe make it red. You can change the border of that and make it a little bit wider if I needed the lines a little bit wider so you can see it better. Okay. I can hide the, the box and put it there uh, during my video. And let's see, I can also add an arrow and say here's the salt in C. Once I have the arrow there, I can edit the arrow again, make it maybe a better red color. I can spin the arrow around, make it larger.
can hide it. And again, if I don't need it, let's make it skinnier. If I don't need it at all, I can delete it by using the X. Perhaps you need some text on this overlay. So you just click on the text, move the text wherever you want it. It's like a call out at that point. I gotta grab this little arrow. Let's see, as soon as it gets into that cross hatch, I can move it wherever I want it. Again, I can edit the text, choose my colors. Here's my background, perhaps I don't want it. Uh, there's my text color, I want my text to be black. But I want the background maybe to be a very light blue so it's not so harsh on my eyes. Okay. And let's see what else can I do here. Perhaps you want to add a blur. Now blue, blur is usually for privacy, so perhaps I have an address or somebody's picture that they didn't give me permission. I can select blur and select whatever area I want to blur. And you'll see there's a nice blur to, blurring effect to it. So that's all I have to do. And I'm going to go ahead and say done. I'm going to test it out so you can see what I did there. And all of those come in very nicely. Again, they pop out pretty quick because that's, I did it pretty quick. But if I had one item on, it would stay on for that duration of period of time and then come off. So adding overlays is a very nice way of grabbing somebody's attention, adding more content, and uh, focusing in on one point of your video. The last advanced editing tool that I want to discuss is replacing video. Now replacing video is similar to insert more, but it's not using a pre-recorded video. This is on the fly, I want to fix something, but I want to leave the audio alone. So what I want to do is, of course, put my video, what I want to record over. Let's say it's for about, um, I don't know, four seconds. So as soon as I click on replace video, it's going to give me the option of recording and it's only going to record for that length of time. So click on replace video and you see I only get 4.8 seconds. I could do shorter and then what happens is it holds that last editing frame. So I'm just going to close down that window and I'm going to record my laptop um, and then it starts recording. It's only going to do the four seconds. If I choose to stop it earlier, uh, it will hold that last frame. So now I'm going to say done. Bring up my screencast-o-matic. And I'm going to go back and I'm going to see now what my video looks like. So I'm going to backtrack it just a little bit, re rewind it just a le little bit. And if this had audio, the audio would continue but it would jump over to the new video input while the re recording of the audio was still there. That's always nice if you needed to re-record something that you goofed up on or you forgot to add something but you actually said it but you didn't move the mouse or whatever it may have been. Um, it's nice to be able to do that. And then of course we also have the option of editing our, our audio. Now insert more is just slightly different to where you had a pre-recorded video and you're inserting that video, both audio and, and video. This replace video is just replacing that portion of the video but keeping the narration. So that's the difference between the two of those. If you enjoyed this video, here are a few others in the Screencast-O-Matic series. You can find these on the CA Community College's YouTube channel. Until then, this is Lynn Mann be seeing you.